Elvis is in the building. He lives, and when it comes to the Costas, us Brits are all shook up. We love Spain. We love you. What more could you want in the world? Now, Tant. More and more of us are leaving the cold and grey of the UK for Costa del Sunshine. Living the dream can be hard graft. Middle of service and gas bottles gone. We've had one day off. We had Christmas Day off. We've been up in two minutes and we're already mobbed. But Costa living can be worth its weight in gold. Are we at the top? Woo! Oh, that was fun. We're going to go and have an eight hour at Bama. Let's go. That's why there will always be... The sun. That life. Yeah. This is cold. Bargain loving Brits in the sun. Today on the Costas, bar owner Sonia is all at sea. As soon as you see them, you have to be straight on them, because they move fast. Aunt Pate gets starry-eyed. I call her Michelle Obama, because when she's ready, she always looks marvellous. And there's horseplay for chippy owner Caroline and her team. <laughs> It's another glorious morning in Ben or Owen. Yeah? Can see the last time you set up. Right. You don't know where the tables go anymore, do you? At the marina, Sonia's busy setting up her sports bar for the breakfast shift with boyfriend Owen. I'll get the heavy ones done. Owen can do the lighter ones. Former recruitment consultant Sonia has been in Spain five years and bought her own bar two years ago. Are you close at the moment? We're just opening up now, so if you can give us about 15, 15, 20 minutes, like right that. All right, perfect. Thank you. With the local competition stiff, Sonia has a plan to give her bar more bang for its buck. We have now started a new partnership with a boat company. What can I get you to drink? Um, can I have a cappuccino, please? They offer the dolphin tour. They are requesting that... They are they're going to be served tapa on the boat, so I'll be going onto the boat with them today. Uh, cappuccino. Ooh. Whoops. I'm really hoping this goes well because this is something we're, we're trying out for the first time. Dolphin watch tours take tourists out to try and catch a glimpse of Flipper and his friends. There's no guarantee of success, but Sonia thinks she can promise cracking on board catering. It's just an average morning, this. This is the norm for the breakfast. So... Doing the boat, obviously, it's added work to us, but it'll be worth it. So the pressure's on Chef Lucy, who's now got a full tapas menu to master alongside the usual fry ups. This is the Spanish Lucy omelette. Lucy, how's everything? Are you, are you okay? There. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. This boat trip will be the first time Sonia's business has attempted to cater off-site. Today is just a trial to see how it goes. If this works, next season we could have a member of staff on the boat, you know, doing this every day. Which would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Best look ship shape, Sonia. Jim, your potential business partner in Dolphin and Tapas boat tours, is on board. You've got plastic knife and forks on the boat, haven't you? You've got plastic plates. Plastic plates, yes. Okay. Set the little table up as well for the tapas. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. At all. Sonia and Owen, we've decided this year we're going to come and work together. Yeah, it's a nice little team. Sonia and Jim met when she booked a dolphin spotting trip on his boat. I went on a boat trip with all the girls, and we'd all had a few carvers and that. And I stood up, and the boat went at that, and my shorts blew overboard. They were new, and I paid a fortune for them. Hopefully we'll find them one day for you. We'll see a dolphin swim around with them, won't we? <laughs> Try to stay fully dressed today, Sonia. Hang on, today's test passengers have arrived. This is Gary, this is Michelle. These are coming on our boat trip today. These are our guinea pigs, yeah, guinea aren't pigs, yeah. We're the eye candy. This is our first adventure of serving. you got me serving you on the boat. Oh, wow, okay. that's That'll be an experience. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I don't spill the food on you. <laughs> Michelle and Gary are holidaying Brits, who asked if they could get onboard dining as part of the package when they bought with Jim. Hope it's not choppy, so I don't end up getting a bit seasick, but it should be fun. Looking forward to Sonia serving us. And are we going with the tapas? Are all done? The tapas are there. Amazing. So they're all done, ready to go. They're just cooling down. See what happens today. So if they like them, if they like them, we'll carry on, won't we? <laughs> Lucy's done her bit. So in here we've got the tortilla, the salad, salad, yeah, onion rings. And the goujons. Oh, goujons, okay. 
All good to go. Pressure was on again. But we've done it. Now it's down to Jim and Sonia to ensure this voyage into the unknown is smooth sailing. Guys, wish me luck. Oh, where's my sunglasses? It's going absolutely marvellous today. It's like being in a free sauna. It's that warm in this little wooden box. I've lost about four stone just off my eyelashes alone. At the Horridada campsite on the Costa Blanca... Obviously, all the hardbacks I'm going to keep because they're worth more money. Skelmersdale lad Ant Pate usually runs his water aerobics classes, but today he has a different sort of personal improvement in mind for the lucky residents. I have to go through them because I don't want to throw something away that someone might really like. He's sprucing up the Seniors Club, the on-site camp social centre, starting with a refresh of the library. You have that many books that inundate you. Yeah, you don't know what to take. The plan with the senior club is to turn it into the hub of the site. Over the winter months, we have a lot of clients that come for five or six months, just trying to get them to integrate a little bit more with each other and mix. It's good to mix. It is. But if there's one thing Ant likes more than a spot of spring cleaning... Come, come on in, you're always welcome. It's stopping for a natter with a camp resident. What's your name? Sorry, I haven't met you. Sandy. Hello, Sandy. I'm Anthony. Intro's done. It's down to book business. If I leave my two, I can take... You can take 120 if you want. Take as many as you want, love. That's what they're here for. Can you read Swedish? No. Oh, well, that wouldn't be a good one. I'm actually here today going through them all because I don't know which is in which language. He's meant to be doing an interior makeover, but it seems Ant's found a new role as a literary critic. What do you like reading? Do you like a crime? No. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a romance. That might be a Jackie Collins one, a bit of Mills and Boom. Yeah, I won't, I, I won't mind that one. I'm going to make the space a little bit more warmer and inviting, and, you know, for the likes of Sandy coming over here. Marvellous. That's all right. Yeah, well, thank you very much for using the library. It'll be much more organised next time you come in. You're very good. It sounds as though it's going to be great. Have a lovely day, Sandy. To our love. Bye. That's one happy customer, but Ant wants the centre to be popular with all the camp occupants. I've got about a thousand books to sort out, so let's go, John Joe. And he's prepared to throw the book at it. All the hardback big ones in here, and then we'll go down inside, then you see. Just a matter of going through. Ant's been working here for ten years, and his priority is looking after the older long-term residents especially during the quieter winter months. I want to do this today just to give the people that use the club somewhere a little bit nicer. I'm trying to make the area a bit more inclusive. We've got to look after our old people. I have some who don't necessarily exercise anymore because of medical conditions and stuff, and it's just as important to keep them active up there, really. And doesn't that look so much more presentable? And I've tried to keep 50% European, 50% English, so it's all the different native languages. You're like a one-man UN. A nice functioning library to look. And it costs nothing other than a little bit of time. Shelves sorted, but Ant is far from done. He wants the community centre to be a place to inspire as well as relax. I can almost feel the positive energy flowing through the room. So he's decided to add his own artwork. I've got myself all these damaged books here to use for me little bit of inspiration for me pièce de résistance, me Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet artwork. That's going to shortly be going on the wall. You won't recognise the place in 20 minutes. Well, I like the confidence, but if Ant's going to redecorate, he's going to need some supplies. Hi-ho, silver, away. Coming up, DIYer Ant calls International Rescue. Susan wants to come from Aberdeen. Oh, we've got Beth Ann in Easter House. She said she had come over in Glasgow. And party planning is no cakewalk for the chippy team. Look, it's still soft. We can actually do it like a little ziggy zaggy thing. Crack on. I, I've got no idea what we're doing.
in Benny Dorm's historic old town. Chocolate, candles. Break that up, please. It's got a unicorn on it. She's going to love that. Her favourite colour's pink, so she'll definitely love these. Fish and chip owner Caroline and her best pal and right-hand woman Jan have gone all Mary Berry. Three, six, nine, twelve. I'm reckoning because it's still soft, we can actually do it like a little ziggy-zaggy thing. Crack on. I, I've got no idea what we're doing. The pair are more used to handling fish cakes, not birthday cakes. But with the chippy shut today, they're putting their professional culinary skills to good use for a very important reason. Look at this bad boy. That is buzzing. Their young colleague Connie recently suffered a bereavement when her stepfather passed away here in Spain. Today's her birthday, so the girls are going all out. I might actually go into cakery. Is that, is that actually a profession? Yeah. Cakery? No. No, it's called something else, isn't it? Cake decorating? Don't ruin my work of art, lady. Oh. Anyway, who needs the right words when the handiwork looks this good? Happy birthday. That can go in the middle, yeah? Do you want that in the middle? Look. It's perfect, mate. Like that. Connie works with us, but she's also our best friend. She's had really bad news, so we're planning her surprise party this afternoon for her, just to cheer Connie up, because what she's been through is what she deserves. It's time for the finishing touches. Is it snowing in Spain? There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. You would never know that was homemade. It's looking pretty star baker to me. You girls deserve a brew. It's Connie's birthday and she's had the most horrendous time. Her stepfather has passed away and unfortunately a mother couldn't get back. So Connie's had to sort all the apartment out and all the things. It was just horrendous. I can't think of anything to do better on the day than to help Connie because she has been through the mill. As a gang, as a group, as the Soul Sisters, we've all been there. Give her a hug, give lots of hugs, lots of kisses. Today is our way of hopefully cheering Connie up, let her hair down and have a great time. She deserves it. She absolutely does. I want it to be absolutely amazing for her. If anyone can do it, you girls can, as long as you don't get distracted. So next thing to do is balloons, banners. I've got bright red lipstick on. I am blown up balloons with bright red lipstick on. I've got more lipstick, don't worry. Oh my God, she does my head in, absolutely does my head in. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you rather spend your day off with, the beach or me? Oh, the beach, Cas, the beach is calm. The beach is calm. I'm calm and natural. Natural. <laughs> Naturally, Caroline and Jan need to stop chatting and get this surprise shindig sorted. I've got to blow up balloons, I've got to make the banners, get the banners. I've left it till last minute, as usual. Um, I've still got to get ready. There's loads to do. OK, one thing at a time. Everything needs to be ready to surprise the birthday girl. Connie's been on the phone. Oh, what time are we meeting? I was like, oh, I don't know, Connie, just three, four, just casual. She ain't got a clue. That is the excitement. Connie is my side chick. She's part of the Soul Sisters. The Sisterhood is the Soul Sisters, the four girls that we all work together. Connie's the youngest, and we've just got the most amazing friendship. This is the last one. Who knew? Not only can we make fish and chips, can we make, can make balloon chains. That could be another, yeah. another new business, as well as cakery. Yeah. <laughs> See if you're clever, Bob. Pick a hand. Which one? It's the truth. Good boy. Oh, Bob, I won that one, though. Eh, uh eh. -uh. In Horridada, Aunt Pate has popped home to check in on Poochie's Lily and Baba and grab some art supplies for his makeover of the camp's club room and library. I don't know where I got this from. It's got lights inside it. And then you light it up and all of inside a bus lights up. I've been digging through my treasure trove. I've got all kinds of crap here. I'm a bit of a klepto. I saved some bits just to make it look a little bit nicer and give the girls somewhere really, really lovely to go and chill out while they're on the site. Ants committed to making life better for the long-term older residents and making over their social centre is the latest part of his mission. I found that my vocation in life is also keeping people mentally fit and it has the same knock-on effect to me. Over the year I have from me ladies. They get me these and they write a little note on the back 
and it says, thanks for all from Nicole. You know, I suffer with depression and anything I can do to help or assist that, if I can't pass that on to other people, what's the point in being an advocate for something that is important? And it is important to be yourself and be kind to yourself. I like what you do. Thank you. See you in October. Helping others is Ant's motivation. Let's see, we've got any notifications. And so he's been trying to draft in some assistance to get this social club sorted swiftly. Went on the social media thing this morning. See if I could get anyone to lend me a little hand. Oh, and Susan wants to come from Aberdeen. Oh, we got Beth Ann in Easter House. She said she had come over in Glasgow. James wants to come from Glasgow. They all want to come over now, but no one from here, though. Ah, oh, a bit of a commute. So it looks like it's a job for one, then. See, some of the pages fell out. So what I thought I'd do is I found these, these canvases. And what I thought I'd do is using me brush put them on the canvases, all the different pages, different ways, and then put them up on the wall in the senior club. I thought that'd look a little bit different. Very nice. So where do you get your artistic inspiration? I think the creative ideas come from being a little bit crackers. I painted my friend's floor once with the chip pan. My other friend, Tricia, when I was little, um, she just had her house professionally decorated and I didn't like it, so I got the nail varnish and painted all the plug sockets different colours. Remind me to never invite you round to my house. Uh, have you got everything? So I got my big brush and I got my little brush. Some tools, because you never know where you might need to screw things in. My hammer for my nails. I'm very organised, though, within the madness. So, pack my stuff up, get it all on the scooter, and away we go. Time to see if Ant can achieve his afternoon's arty ambitions all on his own. Get in. You standing there in the sun, you get some pain. There's one thing almost every Brit who visits the Costas loves, and that's the beach. But the sea itself can be a bit more divisive. Best thing to go out in the sort of early morning, have a nice dip, have a nice swim, when there's not many people around. And basically just enjoy the ambience. I'm sold, but not everybody is. The waves crack about now, I don't like it. I'm not fussed of water. As long as it goes just to my knees, I'm all right, but no. And some of us would have our sea legs if only we'd stick a toe in the water. I haven't been in for a dip yet, but maybe later today as it's getting warmer. Go on, treat yourself. I like a paddle in the water. But as I say, that's all I do at the moment. But I like the sardines and a wee paddle. I prefer that to the, the pool light. Food in the ocean waves. Oh, it sounds like a winning combo. And down at Ben O'Madden and Marina, Sonny's hoping today's test passengers agree. Are you all excited? Yes. This is an experiment we're doing. Yeah. So, you, so technically, you're our guinea pigs. Go, go. Bar owner Sonia's escorting Michelle and Gary, today's test passengers for her new business venture, to their vessel. Hey guys. Hi, Jim. Hi, Hi, Gary. Welcome Hi. to the Hi. boat. Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Michelle. Hi. Hi. She's teamed up with dolphin tour operator Jim and is hoping to earn a permanent contract providing onboard tapas to his passengers. Welcome aboard. Thank you. This is the first time we're doing this, so this is sort of like a trial to us. Next season, we want it to be up and running well. So today, today is really important. Hopefully this, this family enjoy and give recommendations elsewhere. If you look around, there's so many bars, so obviously there's a lot of competition. So I think offering this kind of service, I think it's a good, a good thing to do. Sonny wants to prove, as well as hot bar meals, her kitchen can make food that will be delicious when served cold out at sea. Got the food, the cruise earlier, so fingers crossed it should all work. Up, up! I not take care of that. I hope you haven't got that. <laughs> <laughs> you meant to hold a hand. <laughs> Careful. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. With the crew ready, we're off for the maiden voyage. The view from up there, unbelievable. So, have you enjoyed your holiday? Yeah. Uh, and what have you been doing? This is just we're mainly we're, drinking. We're, yeah, that, <laughs> this, this. Walking down bars and drinking. <laughs> yeah. Each day we planned to do the bus, the cable car, and a, and a boat trip. 
And we're, we're four days in now, and this, this is the only thing we've actually done is the vulture. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure then. Hopefully we'll find the dolphins, but everybody is very competitive down here. There's a lot of boats doing the dolphin tours. Fingers crossed we see the dolphins. They usually find them. And usually we've got about 70 to 80% chance. So far, the dolphins are doing a disappearing act. Hopefully another boat can, can contact us and we can find a dolphin. But Sonia's keen to prove her worth and offer a distraction. What would you like to drink? Fanta. Beer. 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 A beer. A beer. Yeah. We're not in the bar now. <laughs> a lager. Yeah. Maybe you should rebrand as a tapas and booze cruise. Very relaxing. They're just beautiful views. I love being on the sea. Sonia now needs her grub to live up to these spectacular surroundings so that she can add another lucrative string to her bar's bow. You can feel the party spirit in Beridor. Oh, look at this. She's going to love this. Oh, my God. Connor is going to be absolutely made up. The chippy team, owner Caroline, right-hand woman Jan and waitress Zoe, are plotting a surprise birthday bash for their colleague, Connie. Benidorm, it's like Blackpool in the sun, apparently. I won't go that far. The all-female chippy team are more than just co-workers. They become a surrogate expat family. Right, Jan, we've got ten minutes to decorate a venue. How long? Ten minutes? Yeah, because you've got to go home and get ready, yeah? And like all families, they've got their in-jokes. And one in particular has inspired the theme of today's shindig. Mexican appears quite a lot in the chippy when we have our tequila sessions. So the whole theme of Connie's birthday is a Mexican party. Mexican food, Mexican music, Mexican dancing. We love the Mexican. We love the tequila. The surprise Mexican party plans hit a snag as there's no string for their balloons. I thought um, we brought that tape. Yeah, this will do it. Yeah, this will Let's do compromise, so. If we tied that to there to there. Oh, yeah, from that side to that side. We forgot string, so we've ad libbed and used toffee wrappings. We're tying it from there to there, yeah. Keep my cross, my cross, my mark, 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 mark. Can you tell me where? There. Beautiful. They've had to improvise, but this lot aren't feeling deflated. I tell you something, that looks bob on, mate. In keeping with the theme, there's a prop to ensure Connie has a smashing time. Who don't love a birthday party? In the sunshine, on a roof terrace. Look, stuff is bum. Look. Mm. Is that all you do? Yeah, that's all literally all you do. How hard is it to bash it? Pretty hard. <laughs> like, remind me to bring the stick back with me. That actually feels wicked. The piñata is poised, and after a few finishing touches... Beautiful. Oh, Doesn't that look, look Mexican? Mexican. Don't Honestly, God, you'd think you was in Cancun. The scene is set, but ladies, don't you also need to look the part? Right, come on. Home, get ready, get changed. What, we're not going like this? No, we are not. Come on. So, it's a Mexican-themed party, and we're dressing up as our famous little mariachi band. Right. Let's get it on. We've got approximately three minutes to get ready. How long? Three. Let's make it rapido. Uh... Con -con -caracha, con -con -caracha, la -la 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 -la. Oh, hey. Can't wait she's now. I can't believe what she's going to see, is she? No, she'll just die on the spot. She'll be so embarrassed, but we'll love her. She won't love it if she arrives at an empty party. Oh, hey. <laughs> Time to get a wiggle on. Coming up. Ant needs to improvise. I'm completely winging this, you know, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Here we go. Oh, it's like a blancmange. And a sombrero surprise. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Leaves the birthday girl bamboozled. Why are you all Mexican, guys? In Mexico, oh sorry, Benny Dorm. Maybe I should just take it off, because maybe. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, she just flew off. John's having a catastrophe ahead of a secret celebration. What time do you reckon she's going to be here? Literally any second. Any second, and be ready. Along with waitress Zoe and owner Caroline, Jan's using her day off from the chippy to give colleague Connie a birthday surprise. Cuatro, Connie cocktail puffer bar. Already? See, gracias. 
fluent. See, Caroline, now they just need the guest of honour. So when she comes in, we're going to go, Connie, 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 sing. Yeah. Let the balloons off. Yeah. Get over the birthday banner. Dress her up like dress an idiot, up. like us. Shh, shh, shh. Is the, is old, it's old. Never mind. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Connie. <laughs> The birthday girl turns 23 today. She's been working for Caroline at the Chippy for the past year. A very surprise. The last thing I was expecting is to have a Mexican themed party on the roof terrace. Despite being from different generations, the team regularly get together socially. Today's surprise is to cheer Connie up, who recently suffered a bereavement. Connie comes down. <laughs> The idea was that we were all meeting for a few drinks and some food, but obviously they exceeded that. <laughs> Why are you all Mexicans though? For your tequila day in work. What's your favourite day in work, Connie? When <laughs> do you know that day when you go mad when it's tequila, tequila? Oh yeah, yeah, that day. We thought we'd just embrace it. Before the idea of some Mancunians throwing a brummy, a Mexican-themed party in Spain, confuses Connie further, it's time for some party games. Has it got stuff in it? Yeah. Oh, obviously. Your... <laughs> yeah, like a Valentino, yeah. <laughs> a Valentino bag. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to set your expectations a little lower, Connie. So, Connie, if you'd like to step forward to the piñata corner... Traditionally, piñatas are filled with sweets and toys and then hit with a stick to release them at celebrations. What was that woman, De Debbie McGee? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Your proper assistant. But as Caroline forgot the stick... I'm putting these safety guns... They've had to improvise with a pencil and no blindfold. Hey! The question is, will Connie still think her colleagues have smashed it once she's seen what other surprises they have in store? <laughs> Look at this. This is a shirt. It's about two sizes too big for me, but I thought I'd wear this. Yeah. You know, around the house. I wouldn't go out in it. Well, I have been Well, you have been out in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my best bargain, a euro. There we go. It's my bargain, a euro. It looks really, really funny when, yeah, when, when you're fun. on your bike, because all the air goes blows up in your shirt, so it looks actually... Full size, so you yeah. look huge. Like a blip. <laughs> yeah. Where they go? In the seas off Malaga, Jim and his boat crew are trying to track down some elusive sea sprites for guests Gary and Michelle. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we've found the dolphins. Got a good friends of ours on another boat, and they've told us uh, where they are, so we're heading there right now. Looks like Jim's found them. So far, the local celebs have proved shy. Here, here, right in front, right, right in front. But the real pressure is on local bar owner Sonia, who today is catering one of Jim's trips for the first time. As soon as you see them, you have to be straight on them. Because they move fast. Wow. Yeah, go that side, you'll see them. You guys? Oh, yeah. Here. 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 Finally, the star attractions are spotted on the starboard side. Look, you see them here, look. Gary, look. Look. You see them here. Michelle, look. Wow. But they're all around us. Two there, one there. There. Oh, dear, that'll be nice. Come on, I'll look after you. You couldn't get any closer to them, could you? See them all under the water? Yeah. After more than a decade running dolphin tours, Jim's pleased to have delivered. Beer and dolphins. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Hundreds of dolphins. Yeah. So beautiful. 
love the experience. Thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah. Great experience. But the next part of the trip is a journey into the unknown for everyone. Ready to eat now, please, yeah. Let's bring on the grub. Sonia's serving food prepared in her bar out on the open seas for the very first time. I'm nervous. Just pass me the bag. Oh, look at this, the witches. Isn't that fabulous? With a sheet, a balloon and a witch's hat. Just a lovely way to ride to work. In Horridada, Ant is hoping to put a spell on the campsite senior social club with some artistic additions. Any more of my broken pages? And my canvases? With no one to help and his pooches waiting at home, Ant's only got a few hours to master this makeover. My library is all in order now. Looks absolutely fantastic. Now he plans to repurpose pages from broken books to help the room turn over a new leaf without spending a fortune. So there's my canvas. There we go. Oh, it's like a blancmange. I'd say we're there. Wallpaper paste sorted and put his idea into action. I'm completely winging this, you know, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Ant's Pate, you paste that paper perfectly. I think my project looks absolutely marvellous. The good thing with stuff like this is it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it, it can be a little bit rough around the edges. And you don't mind that. A self-taught artist, for the past four months, Ant's been organising art classes here every week to help the older residents creatively and socially. I start things like this because there was nothing like that when I came here. I'm going to let this dry now in the sun for 10 minutes and then I'll finish it off once it's dry. And it's brought this really, really, really lovely group of women together. Being given an opportunity to try different things there this autumn and winter, that, as well as the, the physical exercise, what I do, I also try and work a lot on the mental exercise as well and get them meeting other people and new groups and trying different things. I've got a really positive quote to go in the middle, something to give them a little step on the way out the door. And that looks cracking so far. And quickly whips up a second. As well as cost effective, he's also reducing waste. Cunning. Who would have thought something as simple as a blank canvas, a bit of wallpaper paste, and a couple of old decrepit books could potentially look so effective. Artistic improvements accomplished, but Ant's not done with this glow-up. I'm just assembling Michelle Obama. I call her Michelle Obama because when she's ready, she always looks marvellous. There's Michelle. Oh, it's uncanny. I think she's going to go in here. And that's not the only trick Ant's got up his sleeve. I'm putting the playing cards up purely because I found them in the house and they don't cost me any money to use. So I thought I might as well throw them on the wall. It just makes it look a bit more of a, you know, social, come, a recreational space. Snap was going to say exactly the same. This is for me artist of the week. So when we have our drawing, painting group on a Thursday, the artist of the week can go in here and when she comes back the next week, we'll have a different one. It's just like their little wall of fame. He's still got a few finishing touches to make, but Ant thinks he's played his cards right. Good game. I'm getting very creative. I feel a bit like if I carry on like this, I'll be going out selling myself, doing the pensioners houses up. No time to celebrate yet. You've got to make this library slash art room slash camp chill out zone as welcoming as possible. I think Michelle might look better when you come in. So obviously, my initial idea of where everything was going to go changed, because that's the way I am. Nice, relaxing, safe space. Ladies, coming on in, perusing a book. You can sit here, you can put your feet up, you can have a couple of reads of your book. I'm sold. All in all, I've got to say, what an absolutely lovely job. I think it looks marvellous in here. 10 out of 10 for effort, 10 out of 10 for style, and all in all, it cost about 10 pence to do it all, so we're a day full of 10.
It's a ten from me, Aunt. I reckon you'll have some happy campers. I think the ladies will be quite overwhelmed when they come in. When I say overwhelmed, my lot only get overwhelmed by a chip butty. But I think they'd appreciate the effort that's gone into making the space look a little bit more inviting for them. In the words of Walt Disney, is that all your dreams can come true if you've got the courage to pursue them. I'm off to check on the dogs. Ta-da now. Ta-da, Aunt. Coming up... You've got chicken wings, hummus, tortilla. Rubs ahoy on Sonia's first tapas boat trip. I was a bit apprehensive how the food was going to keep. And there's home truths in Benidorm. To our faults, our Connie had her own little pony called Chicken Nugget. You know what? That is so random. I'm going to go, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Gonna do a two hour Connie quiz. In Benidorm, the team have swapped chip shop for rooftop, and Connie's birthday surprise is in full swing. First question Connie was a champion tap dancer as a child. False. True. <laughs> it's false. We've got no rhythm at all. Hey! Come on. Hey! Connie recently suffered a bereavement when her stepdad passed away. Today's party is an attempt to show her how much she means to the rest of the team. We're a team, we all work together, and we wanted to do something amazing for her. And yeah, I think she's got on board. True or false, our Connie had her own little pony as a child, when she was a child, called Chicken Nugget. You know what? That is so random. I'm going to go, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm going to go with false. It's false. It's <laughs> funny. It's funny. It's funny. I literally would call my horse Chicken Nugget if I had one. <laughs> When planning the party, Chippy Boss Caroline secretly spoke to Connie's mum to gather intel. Sneaky. True or false? Growing up, Connie's family actually believed that Connie, her job would be a toilet inspector. False. True. It's true they did actually think I was going to be a toilet inspector. <laughs> and that's because... Tell him why, tell him why. <laughs> because when we used to go out for meals and that, as soon as I sat down, I wanted to go to the toilet and I used to come out and go, oh, the toilets are lovely in there, Mum. <laughs> Every time we all get together, it just ends up in chaos, even in work. But today, it's all about Connie and that's what she needs and deserves. Time to see if the afternoon's final surprise is more to the birthday girl's taste. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! The gang of ditch chip batter for birthday natter for the day. That's beautiful, guys. Absolutely like gorgeous. That's handmade by Zoe Rowe. Um, but now this is the time for me to confess something. I absolutely hate cake. <laughs> you don't! I used to have a cake shop, and I, one thing I don't like is cake. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'll take it home. I'll look at it for two it weeks. Home, the cake has proven to be the, well, the icing on the cake. Even more for me, so I'm happy days. But it has put a damp sponge on the afternoon. A d damp sponge? Oh, never mind. So, oh, have you enjoyed your day? It's been good. It's been random. Yeah. Which is literally like the chippy, what, isn't it? That is the chippy. That's what sums up us up on a daily basis. It's just random. random. It might be their day off, but Connie's glad to be with her work team. They're my best friends as well as like my work colleagues, so it's nice of them to do that for me, yeah. Really nice. Excuse me, I'd like to think we're very professional. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, really nice. Really thoughtful of them, especially after the past couple of weeks. Connie, look at that pink sponge. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> and I wish I could have took some of the pain away that she's had for the last few weeks and, and, and we, could, yeah. we just couldn't do it as a team. So we just did this. Yeah. Just try and make a bit of friendship yeah. and a bit of happiness and, and memories. And yeah, I am crying because I'd love her to pieces. <laughs> and if you pan round now, you'll understand why we love them. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call a birthday bash. Are you hungry? Well, There's only two of us. Out on the boat tour, Sonia's big moment has arrived. Looks delicious. What have we got, Sonia? You've got chicken wings, chicken okay. goujons, hummus, tortilla. And then you got camembert bites. Nice. I'm amazed. 
looks fantastic. It really does. I've never seen. She's serving passengers Gary and Michelle Tapas prepared at her quayside bar. Delicious. Mm. Very, Very special. Very special. <laughs> this tortilla is delicious. The aim of today is for Sonia to prove her food is seaworthy and earn a lucrative contract regularly catering dolphin tours. It takes a lot to make me speechless. Oh, it's, 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 just, yeah. it's been beautiful. What a beautiful hour. Yeah. Can't thank you enough. Lovely. He looks overwhelmed there, doesn't he? He looks a bit... Lovely. It really was. It was. Are we nearly brought you to tears? Nearly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sonia's passed this taste test with flying colours. Amazing better than what I, I I was a bit I was a bit apprehensive you know how the food was going to keep how it was going to present and the feedback from the customers I can't ask for more yeah. must be good if the locals are took it in too we can't leave the crew without food can we as the crew and guests digest their feast captain Jim's on hand to feed their knowledge the marina was actually built 30 years ago now and I think it was a Dutch designer who designed all the architecture. But yeah, beautiful place and they've been just over, over in this block over here, they uh, used to live Antonio Banderas and Melanie Griffiths as well. Oh, I do love a fact. And Zorro. But what we all really want to know is, has Sonia proved ship shape on her debut boat tour? The food was gorgeous, the trip was gorgeous, well organised and we also made us feel special while we're here. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Would you re recommend us to work together? All right, without shadow of doubt, yeah. We couldn't recommend it high enough. We just have to keep Sonia on the boat all the time. Yeah. I'll work on the boat all <laughs> yeah, the time. Yeah. <laughs> Back on dry land. Welcome to Spain. With a beer to take away as well, look at that. <laughs> the ship's log can record a couple of happy passengers. Spectacular. Yeah. One yeah. word sums it up. Yeah. Spectacular. Food was delicious, authentic, tapas. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get better. Hosting skills of Sonia, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank really you. appreciate Thank that. It was a fantastic trip. And we saw the dolphin. And oh, we did saw well. plenty. Oh, yeah. So Sonia and Jim are predicting smooth sailing ahead for their business partnership. It couldn't have gone any better. It really couldn't. I think we went well so. oh, Very well, very well. Yeah. Love to buy two more boats and two more re restaurants then, as well. Could do, couldn't we? Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah, not a problem at all. Next time on the Costas. Wish me luck. At the last minute, JoJo's caught short. Nobody has raffle tickets. Pooch Pampers, Peter and James, wash and go. Oh, the wet dog. I'm not going to let go until she's stripped a bit. And anyone know a song about Jim Romney? I did an eight-week bridge course. Well, it's close enough. <laughs>